Well, this is our second inspection on the hive that's uh, having only empty comb given to it with OSBN. And the bees have filled up this second box quite quickly. It's been just over three weeks since we added this new box and already I can see that there's bees on at least seven of these frames. And I can see that this OSBN frame that I put in here has been drawn out. So let's have a look at this hive and we'll see what exactly the bees have done. So again we'll go to the frame second from the side and you can see they're already storing nectar in that drawn out comb there. I'll just place this on the side here. So remember it, this is our second OSBN frame. And you can see that's mostly drawn out. So you can see the plastic foundation underneath that and how they've drawn out drone comb in those areas that there was no foundation. And if you look really closely, you can actually see there's eggs and larvae in there. There's eggs and larvae on both sides of that OSBN frame. If there's eggs and larvae on this frame here, we can assume there's eggs and larvae on these middle frames as well. So we'll just go through and check uh, where the brood nest extends to in this top box already. So I'm seeing some eggs in this section and on the next frame across I'm seeing brood. On one of the two frames that were moved up from the bottom box I can see capped brood already. So let's have a look at that. So the bees have moved up into that capped honey and created a brood nest in there. We know there's brood in our OSBN frame. So that's actually the edge of the brood nest there. So we want to keep this frame here empty. Let's check second from the edge on this side as well. This looks more empty. Yep. That frame is completely empty so I'll move it over to the other side because they seem to be focusing on this side of the, the top box. So this is the third frame in from the side and that's all nectar. I'll move that one across. This was the fourth frame across. And we can see it's all got brood in it. So this is the edge of our brood nest on that side. I uh, haven't seen any evidence of queen cells. So 
this edge frame here will be empty. Which it is. And so that'll go in beside our brood frame. If I'd been on schedule for two weeks, uh, they wouldn't have filled up so many of the frames, and so we'd be able to add some empty frames down in the bottom box as well. But now we've got a situation where we've got just two empty frames beside our brood, and the rest have nectar or brood in them. So it's almost time to put on a new box as we need to move frames from the bottom box up. I'll put this frame of nectar back on the side here. We'll have a look at the bottom box. This is a side frame that we added that just had empty cone, so we'll see if there's any brood in that one now. That's quite light and it's been filled with pollen. check on this side frame with the OSBN frame. It doesn't look like it's been drawn out very much at all, uh, so that can stay in there. Um, as we said with OSBN it's about maintaining two empty or new frames per box, so we'll uh, probably leave that one as it is and we'll put another empty one over this side and move the, the one that was there into another hive. See how the bees are hanging there from the comb? They're actually wax builders there doing that. So that's the outside frame. You can see they've preferred to go up rather than outwards. So we'll put our empty comb on the side frame again. Try and get the bees to go down so we can put our box back on top. And again, try not to squish too many bees. We've done OSBN on both boxes, made sure there's empty comb on each edge of the brood nest. And uh, so we've got four empty combs in there at the moment. The way the bees have gone, they've filled up those um, eight of those top combs, or the six new combs on the top box. And so we need to get in and add a new box within the next week or week and a half or so. We'll put our queen excluder on the top of this second box, 
just to restrict the brood nest to the two bottom boxes and then we'll start getting honey in the super. So that's it for our second inspection, OSBN with empty comb.